Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're the Garzo Twins. I'm Carly and this is Britta. Today we're going to be swatching and reviewing all 30 shades of the new Laura Mercier Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipsticks. And then we're also going to touch on their new lip liners towards the end of the video and we'll do some arm swatches of those. So we're kind of reviewing like this whole new lip collection. Okay, so we're gonna start with the swatches, the lip swatches of all 30 shades. videos and review videos we like to start with the claims of the product so the claims of these it says what it is is a weightless statement making lipstick with high impact color and a satin finish and the highlighted ingredients are Mediterranean sea algae extract moisturizes and smooths the look of lips what else you need to know is that this lipstick uses high impact color with weightless decadence for an ultimate sensation in lip color um, it says silky intense color in one swipe, moisturizing formula lasts up to six hours without bleeding, feathering, drying, or fading. And then they have some um, statistics of a U.S. consumer study as well. Uh, so based on the claims, then we'll next we'll go into formula and mm -hmm. see if that's true. I'm wearing the shade Rose VIF and this is the component. We'll talk about packaging, but that's what it looks Later. like. Later on, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what shade are you wearing? I'm wearing the shade Rouge Essential. It's described as a bright red and it's so beautiful. I know. I mean, we'll touch on the shades as well. Yeah. And so far we've both been testing the shades that we've kind of gravitated towards for like a week. Mm -hmm. And then at this point we have already swatched all yeah. 30 shades on our lips. So we have a very good idea of the formula. And I, 
I think, think they the nailed best, it. Yeah, I think the best part about it is its weightlessness. Yes, because it says a weightless statement making lipstick with high impact color and satin finish. I think that couldn't be more true. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that they nailed it with the description. Uh, the formula itself glides on so smooth. Like, this is, like, when we were swatching them all, I'm like, this is a classic cream lipstick. And, like, thank God, Delora Mercy, for making mm -hmm. this. I feel like so many people try, like, new innovative textures and formulas with lipsticks. Mm -hmm. But, like, at the end of the day, I think we all love a good, silky, creamy lipstick. I think that they're comfortable, they're pigmented, and I don't need it. Like, they only say it wears up to six hours without mm -hmm. bleeding, um... And which feathering. Is true. Yeah, which is true, but it's like that doesn't really bother most people. I would rather wear something comfortable that doesn't accentuate lip lines and then have it be like permanently on my lips for 12 hours, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, you'll see in the, the lip swatches that some shades are patchy. Yeah. And that's not really <clears throat> um, ded like dedicated to a specific shade group. I feel like some of the nudes, some of the deeper shades, like across the board, there is some patchy ones. And I think that is just due to the thinness of the product. Mm -hmm. And I think that I would rather have a thin formula that could sometimes be patchy than a really thick, heavy formula that, of course, the heavier, thicker formulas, it goes on in one swipe and you never really get the patchiness because it's so opaque, it's such a thick layer, you don't really see that difference. But with a thin formula, you do kind of risk patchiness in some yeah. shades. But I love a good thin lipstick and Me this too. is the like thinnest, most comfortable I may have ever tried. I think it's one of my favorite lipstick formulas I've ever tried. Me 100%. Too. I feel like it's it's not. I don't even want to describe it as unique because, like I said, I think it's a classic cream lipstick. But it is very weightless, like Carly said in the fact. But you do get pigment, like. Well, mm -hmm. for specific shades, I guess we can mm -hmm. say you do get like ultra pigmentation. Like for any of the reds, I mean, you'll see in the swatches. Um, but any of the reds are so pigmented in one swipe that you could even like just put them on the bottom lip and like mm -hmm. rub your lips together and you would be good to go. And I think same with like some mm -hmm. of the pinks. So if if you like gravitate towards really pigmented shades, there are those. And then there are some that are on the more sheer side like Carly said. Yeah, but they're all, I don't know, how, it's, I think it is unique. I mean, at this point, like we'll mm -hmm. put the swatches before this so yeah. you guys will have seen all the swatches mm -hmm. and can see. But yeah, the pigmentation, it's definitely there, which is what you want in a bullet lipstick. We are so biased. We've talked about multiple times how bullet lipsticks are just our favorite yeah. lip product, like through and through out of anything. But this formula, yeah, I think because of the thinness and the weightlessness and the high pigmentation, that combination makes it so versatile. Like Britta said, you can just put a little on the bottom and kind of like blend it out with your fingers or your lips and get this very like diffuse wash of color. Yeah. Or you can do a normal like swipe, swipe, swipe on and get this, like a full on pigment. So I guess that is what makes it unique is that it's a buildable formula, you would say? Um, I think it's easily spread, but no, I think it's very pigmented. So yeah. I wouldn't say it like starts sheer and gets more pigmented. I yeah. think it starts pigmented. Um, some of the nudes were a little bit more sheer, but for the most part, it's very pigmented, but you can blend out that pigment. So yeah. if you do like a more sheer natural look, like you can blend it out. And one of my favorite things about this is, um, so a lot of like cream lipsticks that I enjoy kind of almost have like an oily feeling to them when they're like going down the lips, mm -hmm. like, uh, not in a bad way, but they're just very like slippy. And so when you like move your lips around, sometimes, uh, it can like kind of go outside your lip lines mm -hmm. if you're not wearing a lip liner or it just looks a little bit messy. And like with these, I feel like they're impossible to look messy because they almost feel like a bomb. Like where you put them down, they stay. Even though it feels very emollient, it still feels very um, like, how how do I even describe it? Like They almost have a dry down factor. Yeah, like there's a dry mm -hmm. down, but it's not matte at all. Like it still feels super balmy when you rub your lips together, mm -hmm. but they're, they're in one place. It's almost like a stain balm combo. Yeah, but very thin. Well, yeah. like a stain. Stains are very thin. Yeah, but it has like that balmy formula, mm -hmm. like emollient. So yeah, it's really it, unique. It is unique, I think, actually. Yeah. It is very <laughs> unique. At first, when we were swatching them all, I'm like, this is like a classic cream lipstick. I love this so much. But now that I'm thinking of it and comparing it to other cream lipsticks, this formula is very unique. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we hit all the claims. But some other things I like about it is it doesn't accentuate lip lines at yeah, all. Yeah, which, which they, I think they the, the algae, um, they said that, yeah. Yeah, the algae ingredient is supposed to moisturize and make your lips look plump, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. 
and I definitely think that it does that. It, I don't know if it's that ingredient that's doing this, but it does not settle into lines, which is often our gripe with it lipsticks. It is, and I think like Carly mentioned with thicker formulas, like yes, they are more pigmented, but thicker formulas, I mean, even in like foundation. Yeah, it's like, just course, like foundation. Of course it's going to or settle. Concealer. Yeah, it's going to settle into your line because it's like the thickness is like getting pulled into mm -hmm. the crevice. So I feel like that is because it is a thinner, uh, more silky formula is why it's not settling. Mm -hmm. And I also really like the shape of the lipstick. Yeah, um, me too. The little dip of the bullet is very circular. Like it really goes on your lips. Like yeah. it kind of hugs your lips. It does. Oh, it's so pretty. I know. And the funny thing though, I will say, is maybe this is this is why it doesn't bleed and stays in place so well too, is when you first, like when you first touch some of these shades and you apply them, it's almost hard to get the pigment out. Like, yeah, like not, it's so Okay, no. I said, because I said it was really pigmented on impact, but it's not like, it's not like a typical cream lipstick where it's like so soft. I guess that's it. Yeah, it's, it's almost harder. It's waxy it's harder. when you first put it on, but then it loosens up with like mm -hmm. the heat of your skin. Yeah, it's harder than a typical cream lipstick. The pigmentation is still there, but you can like feel the hardness. It's not well, like I kind of like that because it doesn't deposit too much. Yeah, it's not like a really soft formula that's like melting on your lips yeah. as you're applying and you're like, oh this pigment is melting everywhere. This is very precise and like we said it stays where it is put. And I know we're supposed to talk about the cons of the formula, but mm -hmm. I don't know if I have any. Well the patchiness. Okay, that's true. In some shades. In some shades, which is very common for most ranges, some shades will be patchier than mm -hmm. others. With 30 shades, yeah, it's kind of unavoidable, but some were pretty bad. Some I were pretty say. patchy, yeah. And I think it is because they're so thin. But for a formula like that or a shade like that, if it were patchy, on a normal day, we would just blot um, blot mm -hmm. like those shades to make them more of a stain. And maybe put some lip balm over. Yeah. I don't know. I think there's like they're fixable. They're not it's not like they're not wearable. You just have to they're a little more high maintenance mm -hmm. than like these two shades. Mm -hmm. okay, so next we're gonna talk about the shade range and we said there's 30 shades which is incredible but the range is very poor. Yeah. <laughs> the range, I mean there is no range. Yeah. There's so many similar shades. I would say it's grouped into like purples, pinks, and reds. Yeah. Like like purple as in mauve or like deep mauves. Like and then pinks as in bright pinks or neutral pinks. Yeah, I mean you'll and see. And then reds as in deep reds and bright reds. Like yeah. that is what the range is. Like you'll see in the swatches, like the first two pinks that I put on, I was like, I literally can't tell the difference from these. They look so similar. And a lot of my favorite shades happen to be the reds because like this is a gorgeous bright red. Mm -hmm. I love these bright red shades, but there were like three different brighter red. Yeah, we were kind of losing track out so we were swatching them all because we would put one on. We both did this and we'd be like, did I already do this one? Like they look so incredibly similar and I think that's a huge miss when you, um, you know, you have the money to launch 30 shades. Mm -hmm. That's a huge investment and commitment Yeah, and it's really exciting. It's like, why wouldn't you throw in like some oranges? Or like some or, nudes, more yeah. nudes would be good. Like a true nude, a lot of the nudes were pinky or peachy. Yeah, or brownie nudes. There was browns, but yeah. I feel like there wasn't really brownie nudes. Yeah. Um, there was like the one coral you tried on, but there could have been some more like fun coral shades. But I also, on that note, I will say in some of our other past videos, like we do, um, we don't really like it when people do crazy shades like blue, like a dark blue. Like yeah, I'm glad like, they didn't do that. So I feel like all the shades were meant to be really wearable, which I really do appreciate because it shows that they put thought into it and they feel like the customer base is out there for those shades. Even like the deep purples that were a little bit patchy. Well, there was only like two deep purples and one of them was pretty patchy. The other one was okay. Mm -hmm. But I do think that there are some people that really love those like deep, deep purple shades. So it wasn't like they made any shades that in our minds we're like no one's ever gonna wear this mm -hmm. like they definitely put thought into what their customer base would want mm -hmm. but yeah like Carly said like I feel like they missed um some opportunities for yeah like a bright orange or um I don't know even just like yeah more neutral shades like more neutral nudes for sure mm -hmm. lots of like pink based shades yeah even the reds they were our favorite category but maybe like a like a dusty red or something mm -hmm. a little interesting yeah <clears throat> I think there were just some misses, but we both said this to each other, just talking amongst ourselves. The shades themselves are, are very, very unique. Very unique. So unique. Like very unique undertones. A lot of them lean more cool, which is rare for a line. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of lipstick ranges range or 
they lean super warm yeah because that tends to be very flattering on most people but I really liked that there was a lot of cool undertones yeah, and we would range. like put a shade on and so I think out of the 30 we had nine shades we always star them down below of our favorites um, but there were so many that we put on and I was like I don't think this is a favorite but wow this is so unique mm -hmm. like they really put a lot of thought into these shades yeah a lot of them I don't think could be duped like they're just yeah. very uh, in their own category which is great for packaging, um, I love this. Anything with magnetic closure is my favorite. Me I too. think it's so beautiful. It has like this gunmetal color, and I mm -hmm. love that they have Laura Mercier just written super slightly here. I, sometimes I don't like when the branding is so obvious, you know? Yeah, I think it's like engraved or something. Because you can feel oh, it. Oh, yeah, it's raised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's very nice. It's so nice. But I Or like laser printed, maybe. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. We love good subtle branding. Yeah. I think this is so classic looking, which is probably the point. Like, they want people to be using these lipsticks for years. Yeah, they I will. I will be using these lipsticks for years. Product. Yeah. It's so beautiful. So the packaging's amazing. Yeah, it's it's, it's perfect. And now we're going to talk about price. So these retail for $32 and you get 3.5 grams. And so for reference, another lipstick formula we love that has a lot of shades and is very popular is the Bite Beauty and Moose Bouche. And those are $26, so cheaper, and you get 4.35 grams. So almost a full gram more. So these are definitely like in a luxury price tag, I feel. like, But they feel very luxury. They do. I think it mm -hmm. matches up. I think the $32 price mark is right on target. That's yeah. what I would expect. They're also unscented. We forgot to mention that, but that is huge. Oh, that is huge for us. Um, yeah, they're a luxury product in my mind. Like, even nicer than a lot of the other Laura Mercier products. Yeah, like mm -hmm. we were saying, uh, we love their caviar sticks. Like, we do really love those because, I don't know, it's nice to have things in a pencil form. Like, lips or eyes uh but we we prefer this formula so much to those and we oh, enjoy the matte, those. the matte the matte um, the, the matte velour pencils the matte velour pencils that's what they are the mm -hmm. caviar sticks are the eye ones um but we do like those and have been using them for at least a year now but we actually prefer this so much more mm -hmm. so it's like this is so different for them i feel yeah. and i think it's an incredible formula definitely okay so lastly we always do our overall rating one through ten so Carly, what would you give these lipsticks? So this is a first time for me, but I think I'm gonna go with a 10. I know, I agree. Even with the lack of shade range, there are, like we said, nine shades total that we really mm -hmm. loved. And out of those nine, I think there was like two or three that I could see myself wearing on any given day. Me too, even this, like I know it's a bright red, but I would wear this Yeah, we're red day. people, so yeah. we love it. Um, so even though I wish there were some other shades, just having those like three shades that I love and could wear any day in this formula is perfect in my eyes, then I think it's a 10. Me too. I feel like this formula, like at first I was like, oh, it's just this, like the perfect cream lipstick. But then I realized as I was thinking of other cream lipsticks I own and none of them feel this nice on my lips. Mm -hmm. None of them, like, I feel like they almost make your lips look like blurred and like juicy, mm -hmm. but without being glossy. Mm -hmm. They they feel so weightless. It's just, it, it feels perfect. I just I feel like I love this. Yeah, I love me this too. formula. Me too. Um, and you obviously like we're lipstick lovers. So yeah. if you're like a matte liquid lipstick lover and you love that like transfer proof, long lasting, this probe wouldn't be for you. Yeah. But if you love a good cream bullet lipstick, please try this. Yeah, because so you good. will be obsessed. Okay, so now we just want to briefly touch on the new Laura Mercier Longwear Lip Liner mm -hmm. since this is our like lip video for the new Laura Mercier product. And these are $26. And there are, are 10, 10 shades. shades. They're so beautiful. So pretty. They're color matched with the shade, which is awesome. They're a typical pencil lip liner, so you have to sharpen them, which we actually love. We love pencil lip liners. Yeah, I think we're in the they're minority. Our favorite. A lot of people like the Propel Repel, like retractable, but we like they, pencil. We think that the pencil ones last longer. They mm -hmm. stay creamy. Sometimes the retractable ones dry out quicker. Yeah, or yeah, we just prefer the formula. It's usually yeah, it's usually the formula. And we did talk about these mm -hmm. in our April favorites, so we're not going to go too in depth. But we just want to touch on them in this video. Yeah, basically we love them. The formula is again very thin and weightless, just like the lipstick. Yeah, um, which is really unique for lip liner. Generally, we find that lip liners tend to be thick and creamy and very pigmented. These are like waxy and hard, and so yeah. they're not too pigmented. They're very waxy, but um, like I mentioned, still in our other easy video, to glide on. Yeah, like they don't tug at all. Like you would think a waxy formula would be hard, but you can literally like 
draw in your lips so quickly, but it's not too creamy where it bleeds or mm -hmm. it, um, you know, like, like it's same with the lipsticks. Like they stay where you put them. Yeah. Like you can easily line your lips. It's not too pigmented. You These can, give a more diffused look though. They like, do. It's less pigmented. But that's why I love because I usually love wearing lip liner Me under too. a lipstick. And so I feel like it just adds like a little bit of a base, but it doesn't add too much pigment. And then you're building on top of that and it gets goopy. Mm -hmm. These could never get goopy. No. They're amazing. They're amazing. I love them like just as much as the lipsticks. Like I'd probably give them a 10 out of 10. I well. would give them a 10 out of 10 too. Um, and there's less shades, but I think the 10 that they have is a good range. Yeah, they're really, really beautiful. I mean, um, hopefully you can see these. We'll do mm -hmm. arm swatches like we mentioned, but there are three pink shades. There are two reds. Um, at least like four different nudes. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good range in my opinion, like pinks, reds, and nudes. Mm -hmm. That's what most people And our wear. two favorites though, um, my favorite is Plumberry and, and my favorite is Hazelnut Tea. And we will insert swatches now, um, just like arm swatches of Walton. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We love doing these lip swatch videos and hopefully you guys like them too. Yeah, I hope they're helpful because we always watch lip swatch videos we before do. we buy. So. Yeah, um, so we love doing them. We hope you like them. Let us know down below and if there's any other new lip products you want to see swatched, let us know that as well.